seen that. So, in game. In game. I am. Did you see the trailer that came out today? Uh, Shadow played it on Reaction Tuesday, I think. Okay, and you were watching that. I tried to ignore it as much as I could, and then Shadow started oh, doing a scene by scene breakdown. Oh my gosh, I cannot, like, I can't stop watching it. Like, I'm so high. Like, I, I have my tickets. Like, I sat for 20 minutes watching the circle fly around my browser waiting yeah. for uh, Cinemark to finally start working, and then I actually bought my tickets today. So, unfortunately, I will not be seeing it on the Thursday night showing. So, mm-hmm. I will not be, I will turn off my phone, I will turn off my computer, and I will go to sleep early Thursday night on the 25th. And I will sleep late as I can. Infinity War came out two weeks early for us last year. Yeah, you guys normally get your your movies way earlier. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes we get them way later. Like, uh, Into the Spider-Verse came out super late. I hope it comes out super late. (laughs) Right now, Captain Marvel and Ty and Us is out in English. Ah. So, Super Shadow says, I think they will write her off. She's going to to go look for Rick and they will probably say it's too dangerous for Judith to go and she will have well yeah but is Michonne like well I mean like right like we've, we've done a time jump and I know we'll get back off this and this will be the final this will be the final thought on Walking Dead I promise oh, so it's been like six it's been like let's say it's been six years since Rick is dead yeah. or supposedly dead why would she just go off to try and find him you know but that that would be my one thing, and she's gonna leave Judith, her 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 daughter, and she's gonna leave Rick's son, whichever I can't remember the name of the, of her of their son. Or so she's gonna leave both of them behind. I don't I don't think so. Not a, not after the Whisper War. I don't think so. The radio. No, the radio is just gonna be connected to whatever that girl's name was from the Commonwealth. I think her name was Stephanie. But uh, my prediction for the end game is just like everybody else's prediction. I believe that Ant-Man will climb up <laughs> the butthole of Thanos and asked, blow him. Uh, Paul read all that? Yeah, you know what was crazy? That that, that question was asked to him right after uh, the Wasp and yeah, after the Wasp and, and uh, Ant-Man came out. Yeah. So that theory's been floating around for a while. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because Infinity War is already out when Ant-Man and the Wasp came out, but Yeah. How you doing? Kind of boss. Yeah. What a great name. <laughs> we are talking about Endgame right now. We finished Twilight. That was terrible. Then we talked about yeah. The Walking Dead for a long time. That was pretty bad. But uh, now, talking about Endgame. I, uh... So Shadow, I think, has one of the worst theories on Uh-oh. Endgame. Which okay, what is it? He's saying that it's going to go into alternate universes, which I know they do in the comics. But, right. uh... <laughs> it sounds like chess-related. Uh... It. He he thinks that they're going to go to alternate universes and bring in all the characters who got dusted to refill the roster, type of thing. I probably yeah, but why would yeah, but why would Aaron but, yeah, but why would Aaron from Earth three leave my life to go to Earth one exactly? Huh. Well, you know, in Doctor Strange, um, what was her name? The Ancient. Yes, she did mention the multiverse. In, yeah, no, it definitely. When she was come into play, but not in Endgame. It's too much. They're gonna they're gonna finish everything from phase one. This is this is the final phase one. <laughs> he never said it would happen. It would just be super baller if they actually did it. <laughs> uh, that would be hilarious. I think X Men I think X Men will be part of the multiverse. Um Oh no. <laughs> I agree with that guy in a box. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't think, I don't think the multiverse will, will be at all a part of this one. I think it's going to be time travel and it's, I think it's going to really soil the whole MCU. I don't, I don't think it's going to be time travel at all. Really? Have you? I think, I think that it's going to be, um, in Civil War, Mm -hmm. Tony reconstructed one of his memories, uh, with that, with that technology that, uh. I forget what it's called, where it was like a younger version of him talking to his parents or whatever. It constructed his memories. I think that that's what they're probably going to do. Is they'll probably reuse that to, because when you when you go into time travel, like you're you're yeah, it's you're messing. Bad. With the, 
like time yeah, you're, you're, um, have you not seen I, the I, set pictures well, I've seen the set pictures and that's what I'm talking about you can Tony recreated a conversation with him and his parents, and his parents. Yeah. so just think what he could do in a huge warehouse he could reconstruct something because you know Ant-Man was there along with Tony and they were and they were in their normal get up. So if, if they're walking around a memory trying to figure out maybe a way to uh, get rid of the time. So I don't know. I, I would think that time see, travel. Yeah. And I don't see how that would do anything. Like if I, well, go, that's because we, we haven't seen the movie. <laughs> well, yeah. But I'm saying even as a theory, because if I go and watch like videos of me as a kid, that's not going to help me like prevent me from doing something dumb later. Like if I well, if, if I do something stud- dumb five years ago and then I watch a video for myself ten years before that, it's not going to help fix the problem that happened five years ago. Yeah, but if they're studying the stones and maybe what they're trying to do, yeah, and I agree with that. Super Shadow, he says, I think time travel is too cheap and easy. I agree. Of an hour. Well, what's going to happen and, uh, is I think the movie's going to open up with Tony on the ship right after all the stuff. Then it's going to him give that speech, you know, for five ten minutes. Then it's going to go to the credits, and then it's going to time jump probably 10 years into the future. Where now you have the new Avengers, everyone, the old Avengers are all beaten up, all, you know, kind of, you know, like everything with Thanos has kind of killed their spirit. You have the new Avengers right. with Scott Lang's daughter kind of running it. Ant Man is going to show back up thinking that everything had just happened. He's going to be stuck in the, the quantum realm for a while. And then come out 10 years later, not knowing that time has passed. He's going to fill them in. They're going to use his quantum realm to go back in time. And then they're going to try to fix things. They're going to warn each other and set stuff up. And at some point, Captain America is going to go dance with Peggy. (laughs) What do you think? Or how do you think Captain Marvel plays into it? Have you seen, have you seen, you've seen Captain Marvel though, right? Yes. So the in-scene credit shows them having that pager. Yeah. So that pager that they have that belongs to her is relatively new because when I say relatively new, you know, it's still flashing mm-hmm. when it's going off. So is that 10 or so years in the future? How fast does she show up? Uh, well, they, yeah, so that, let's see, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think yeah, because, what they look like. Um, that I would say happens all before Ant Man shows back up. Uh-oh. So when Ant Man shows up, everyone's going to be ten years older, including Captain Marvel. Yes. So she's, so she's just going to sit around for ten years, not doing anything. Potentially, they might. So she. I mean, what she is she, what is she going to do? Right. She. They contact her. She shows up right away, but they don't have any way to find Thanos. They don't have any way to go. You know, stop him. They don't have any way to go back in time. Ant Man shows back. Yeah, but why up. would she? Yeah, but why would she stay? Well, she doesn't have like to she's, stay. They can, they can recontact with her. She could be like, right. "Oh, I can't do anything. Sorry, guys," and takes off. And then when they have a new plan, call her back. <laughs> uh, let's see. Guy in the box says, "Speaking of time travel, the butterfly effect was some movie. I loved that in it high was. school, but I think it's terrible so I. now. I don't think it holds I up. Watch. <laughs> I don't want to watch. I don't want to rewatch yeah. it. Uh, we don't know what they're looking for though. Uh, I don't know mm-hmm. exactly what that's in relation to, but uh, I, he's talking about by going back in time. We don't know what they're looking for. Is he talking about going back but in like, time or creating the memories? Uh, I probably it could work out with both. Yeah. Guy in the box says I feel ignorant as I've never seen any of those Avenger movies. They're they're all right. I mean they're they're only good if you're invested in the story. If you're not really right. invested, it well, doesn't. It's not really. Oh, then, then, what, then what's your theory? Let me ask you this. Then let oh. me turn the tables on you. Oh. Let me turn the tables on you. Yeah. What is what is your theory on what is the purpose of them going back in time? Uh, to warn each other, to like set things up in motion, to be able to beat Thanos before he snaps. Okay, so with the new trailer, it shows I, all of them in their space. I haven't watched it. Oh, I haven't paid then, attention to it. I I closed my eyes. I'm and not. Went, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Well, then never mind. Uh, I, based off based off the new trailer, I'm not going to tell you what's in the trailer, yep. and I will I will tell you to avert your eyes if somebody types something from the new trailer in there. But based off of the new trailer, time travel is not going to be possible. Mm. Let me rephrase that: not it's not 
I wouldn't say it's not going to be possible. I would say that I don't think that time travel is going to play a role in this movie. Maybe. I hope not. Unless. I hope not. Unless. Time travel unless, is a terrible device in any movie. Well, no, unless the final, and again, I'm being as vague as possible, mm. unless the, the final scene of the of the trailer happens in like the first 10 minutes of the movie. Because, you know, there was a huge rumor that any any footage that they showed from from the movie was going to be like the first 30 minutes of the f- of the film. Hmm. So if that is the first 30 minutes of the film. Are you talking about then, Captain America and Tony Stark shaking hands or something? No, there's something way better than that. Okay. That just That's the, being like throw my fist in the air and being like. Because I was going to say, I think that Tony Stark is a scroll. Uh, Guy in the Box says, with this time travel thing, do you think it will be a constant time because no, the effects still apply? Because the effects still apply. So do you think that what, Tony dies in space and a score replaces him? I, he he probably doesn't die, but he's probably stuck in space, and Tony throughout the movie is a scroll. Uh, Super Shadow, how dare you? I'm going to ban you. Time jumps are terrible. <laughs> um, so... I th- One of the things, I think, okay. Like, Dragon Ball does time travel pretty cool. Dragon Ball Z, because what happens no when you time travel in Dragon Ball Z is you start a new timeline, and so instead of it being able to affect the future, the uh, the timeline just resets. It like branches off. It branches off, and so that's the whole point of time travel, though. No, most of the time when you time travel, you go back in time, do something, and then you go back to your current time, and now that current time is affected. In Dragon Ball, you go back in time. In that new, in that new timeline that you created. Okay, so in Dragon Ball, you go back in time, <laughs> then you go back yeah. to your original timeline. It's just the same yeah. as it was before you went back in time. Because you, you can't change your timeline. You create a new one that arcs off away from it. Right. That's basically with every point of time travel. Like multiverses. <laughs> you know that's like not when what you're talking about, Because when, th- when you think about it, like, look at Back to the Future. Like, uh, they were, when Biff took the Sports Almanac, it yeah. created a separate splinter. And they had to go back, but that's, that splinter that they created yeah. still exists. Yeah, but you don't go back to the, the original one. Every, right. Every well, time go he goes paint. back... Yeah, so like Guy in the Box says, the every time you time travel, it creates a new universe. Uh huh. I agree with that. But most <laughs> stories that use time travel, you go back in time and you come back to the current time, and the current timeline has been affected. Where right, they, because it's brand new. Sure, but they just don't. Say it, but they just don't but say what it. What I'm like... saying in Dragon Ball is the people who go back in time can't fix their their current time. They can't do anything to change what's going on in their lives. So they go right. back and altruistically fix things for other people, but then get stuck in their crappy timeline. Right. Because because the original timeline is still the original timeline. Yes. By going back in time, you create a splinter that you can't go back to the original timeline. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, uh, that's how the Terminator works. Like that, like in um, the original time. The Terminator doesn't work. No, I'm saying in the in the original timeline, there is no Terminator, but somehow it's splintered. No, that's, somehow that's it's different. Splintered. It's, it's different than what I'm saying. I understand what you're saying. I'm just because narratively they tell one story in Terminator. With Dragon Ball, they tell two different stories. Uh, let's see, uh, but they can do tons of training and go back and beat the big bad. It's 5 a.m. I can't speak. It's all good. It's 11 a.m. here. Where are you at, guy in the box? 11 p.m. here in Texas. But, uh, but no, like, I think that based off of the little bit that I know, like, because the movie's three hours and one minute, if I remember correctly, right? So, okay. so we've, we've probably seen what so maybe. Say, yeah, I know, I knew you were from Maxwell's channel, guy. I just didn't remember where you were from. So we've probably seen what maybe two minutes of a three hour flick and we're trying to figure out what's going on with it when we know well, that they purposefully messed with us in the Infinity War trailer when you saw Hulk running in Wakanda and you're like, Oh, I can't wait for the scene where Hulk's gonna just start ripping people in half 
Well, I think that's what they're nope. doing with Tony Stark. I think that's why he's a scroll. What do you mean? I don't understand that. They they have him in uh, the white and black jumpsuits about the time travel. Mm-hmm. You see them all walking together in the new Avenger suits. Yeah. That's a scroll, is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. So you're just you're saying that that he's still stuck in space. Yeah, they're trying to spoil, like, do a fake spoiler, like, oh, look, Tony Stark gets saved. You know, even though but, we uh, set it up like but, he's but, stranded. The pro- problem with that is I in the same scene. I in the same scene, we still have NC seventeen. <laughs> we, in that. we still we see Nebula in the background as well. So you would, that means there's two scrolls there. So somehow two scrolls saw that. Tony Stark and Nebula were together. They cloned them and then got ahead of them, came to Earth knowing that they wanted to kill Thanos and then joined this Avenger team to put their lives in danger to destroy Thanos. No, I think they're going to be the bad guys. I think they capture them and then they go back to see what's going on. They go as the scrolls or as them, but they're scrolls, try to infiltrate and turn out to be the bad guys for Phase 4. Or phase five. So how do they match their intellect? I don't know. That's just the way it works. <laughs> They're aliens. Well, I, I understand that, but I'm just saying that, like, the you so I'm trying to not say anything. I don't care. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying that you see Iron Man in the trailer, like in an Iron Man suit, which means that the scroll would not would have to know where to go to get another Iron Man suit. Yeah, unless it's all and, there, and, and or unless he gets the information well, no. from Tony after they kidnap him or capture him and all that stuff. I don't know. I, I don't. I, th- I think that they've put the scrolls in a position in Captain Marvel that I don't think that they're going to be the bad guys of, of Phase Four. I think next Captain Marvel, potentially, they're going to show how the scrolls become the bad guys. They're going to take away that good feeling that you got from number one. In right, I mean, because they're, they're an entire race. I understand how, you know, we have a whole bunch of good people on the world, but we still have a bunch of a-holes. So there's still going to be a-holes and evil scrolls out there, but, you know, yeah. I don't know. Uh, Shadow says, I think if anything, Thanos will get captured by a bigger villain. The heroes won't get to get revenge, but we'll find a way to bring everyone back. I don't know. Maybe, but I definitely think they're going to get revenge. I don't. They may not kill him, but uh, they, they'll definitely get everyone back. They'll undo everything. And uh, they will for sure defeat Thanos. Whether he gets captured by someone else, it'll be... I don't, I don't think there's any scenario at all where Tony doesn't kill Thanos if he has a choice. There's never going to be a point where Tony's going to be like, yeah, I'm going to leave this guy hanging around the universe. You don't think Captain would try to stop him? No. I don't, know. I don't think so at all. I think that uh, both of them realize and understand that this guy, if they leave him alive, is going to basically raise up another army and try and take the uh, Infinity Stones again. Why would he not? When have any of his heroes actually killed someone, though? That's the that's that was the point of Infinity War. The only person in the entire movie that had the constitution to do what they were going to do was Thanos. And like Thor. Thanos could have been stopped, in, huh? Thor. No, because Thor went for the the chest instead of the head. So if he would have done what he if he would have went for a kill shot on Thanos, then mm. we wouldn't be at the problem. If that was a pretty uh, convincing kill shot. No, it was in the chest. That was the whole point of Thanos saying what he said. Stabbed with an axe through the chest. Uh, again, <laughs> that's the reason. That's the reason why Thanos said what he said. He's like, you should have gone for the head. Because that was a way of telling the audience that if Thor would have went for the kill shot in the head, then this wouldn't have happened. The same way if was, Wanda, uh, not Wanda, he was saying Wanda, if you, Wanda, if you, yeah, Wanda, if you had gone for the, the, the head, the, I wouldn't have a chance to snap now. But he, would, right. he killed him. But the no, he, no, the, the the whole point was if Thor would have hit him in the head with the uh, Stormbreaker. Mm-hmm. He would have died and he would have got the snap, but his ego wanted him to hit Thor, I'm sorry, hit Thanos in the chest so he could have that moment where he was like, I told you I would kill you. That was the point of the conversation between the two before the snap. But is, is he Thor- was killing him. I mean, he had the constitution to do it. He just didn't, he just wasn't, He like you said, his ego he, got in the way, but. 
Right, he wanted he wanted that moment to tell Thanos before he killed him because that sorry, oh, I told you. Why, why would Captain ever try to stop Iron Man? Because Captain is the ultimate good guy. He's right, but the, will but the whole point look for redeeming qualities, even in Thanos. Right, but I don't think so. I, I don't think I think at this point in in the story, because um, Captain America would have to look at the scenario and say, "Bro, he killed half of the universe." If we bring, when we bring everyone back, what's to stop him from doing it all over again? You know? Yeah. You know, taking, taking the infinity stones and spreading them across the universe. Maybe here's what happens. They time travel back in time. They go okay. to, um, I can't, what's Thanos' planet called? Titan. Titan. They go to Titan and they cut off Thanos, baby Thanos' thumbs. <laughs> and Tony's about to kill Thanos as a baby and Captain America says, no, you can't do it. He's a baby. And that's the end of the movie. Guy in the Box, the greatest enemy there ever was. It's your own ego. Shadow, it was I have a better. the show of Thor's pride and confidence. He could have killed him yeah. quickly, but he wanted to dance yeah. near the line. Yeah, no, I understand, True. but he was killing him. Is, was but, my but point. My, but no, my, my, whole, my whole point in all that was the only person that could, that did what they wanted to do was, was Thanos, because Thor failed. Um, oh, he Wanda failed, failed, but he was trying. No, 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 but but he could have. That's the point. Is is he failed? Um, the uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy failed when uh, Peter should have killed Gamora. Gamora should have went right instead of left. Like well, there were several points in the in the movie. Peter did where try to kill. Guys, him. He just took too long. But, but but that was that was after the fact, right? If if Peter would have held his his anger, then, then he, they would have gotten the Infinity Gauntlet off of Thanos, and then that would have saved the universe. There's so many different things that took place in that movie where the heroes failed, and the only person that succeeded was Thanos. Yeah. So I think, well, I think at this point, since they learned their lesson, when they get to the point where they have to kill Thanos, I think that um, Cap will probably step aside because he's, he's felt the pain. He's seen all the deaths in his world, and he knows that at this point when they ultimately get up to Thanos that it'll be you know half of the universe's lives on the line but I think they'll have neutered him I think they'll have undone everything they'll get to the point where he's weak and he's broken and Tony's about to kill him and Captain will step in the way yeah but how Maybe do Thanos will end up killing Captain and then someone will capture Thanos or something like that but I think I think Captain is gonna prevent Thanos from dying. Maybe in Thanos's or in Cap's attempt to stop the killing of Thanos, Thanos kills Cap. Yeah, that's what I just said. No, no, no. I was I was agreeing with you. Oh yeah. And that and then that'll be shocking, and everyone, including myself, will shed a tear for Captain America because <laughs> he's definitely gonna die. He's either gonna die or go back to his own timeline. He's not going to go back to his own timeline. He might. No. He might. Especially if he has to. No. If he, it's required he may for go, someone to stay behind because the quantum realm is is collapsing, he'll stay no, behind he's not and go, just keep he's dancing with Peggy. He's not going to. He will dance with Peggy in heaven, and that that will be where no, he gets his they're dance. Gonna they're going to dance in the past. No. Let's they see. can't because that screws up the timeline. Yeah. That's why time travel is terrible. Guy in the box <laughs> says... Or they go back in time and nature neuter baby Thanos and then good Thanos kills evil Thanos. Or, I've got a better idea, guy in a box. So they go back to baby Thanos. Ant-Man crawls up baby Thanos' butt (laughs) and just grows into regular Ant-Man and destroys them (laughs) instead of giant man. Could you imagine? (laughs) Maybe that's not neuter. Yeah, my bad. Nurture. Nurture. Um, I would. If that's the post-credit scene. Ant Man, or Ant Man does that. Yeah, they just the post credit scene is going to be Ant Man training to do that. They just have like different statues of Thanos out in the Avengers field, and he's just like, guys, I don't think this is a good idea. And then like, try it again, dude. That would be absolutely amazing. I already said, uh, I think I said on on our on our stream, I said if they do that, okay, I don't care. What scene in the movie? If Ant Man crawls up his butt and destroys Thanos by expanding into Giant Man, 
I will get up and like scream at the top of my lungs and just start clapping and cheering like until the entire theater tells me to sit down and shut my face because like <laughs> that would be the greatest to do that. But I think I know, they could I do. <laughs> I think they could do. Uh, like I said, like the in credit scene, you just see like a statue of Thanos, and then Ant Man just explodes from inside of it. Like they could do that, yes. and that would be perfect because everyone would know what what they were doing, and they don't have to get like super crude and destroy a bunch of little kids' lives with it. Like that scene <laughs> from Alien. <laughs> yeah, but like, what if? Or no, in like, let's say twenty years. Okay, let's say the endure the Earth endures for like another fifty years. Someone's sitting down to watch this movie, yeah. and and memes are gone because that whole era has gone away. No one talks about the Thanos butt thing. Then you have this 15-year-old kid who's sitting down to watch Endgame for the first time. It gets to the end credit scene, and then he sees Ant-Man do that. He's like, well, why do they do that? <laughs> it just looks like he's running through the quantum realm, <laughs> and, but it's just his intestine track. <laughs> It's like why did they, why did they put why did they put that scene in there? I don't understand <laughs> why that that is in there. Oh, but overall, I'm I'm really excited. I'm I'm mostly honestly excited to kind of just be done with this wait. Like I, more than wanting to see the movie, I'm like I'm ready to stop speculating. I'm ready to see the story that they're trying to tell and just have it wrapped up and yeah, decide but, but if you, I want to move on. Like continue. Yeah, with but it you or know. Not. Yeah, but you know. The end scene credit is going to send us back into speculation mode. That's the that's how the yeah. MCU operates. Yeah, but it'll be because it'll have wrapped up so much. You know, right. it'll wrap up phase one that this is going to be a completely new thing, and it's kind of a good breaking point. You know, like unless they do something that's like, oh, I can't wait to see that. I can't imagine right. anything being like, oh, the next one's going to be crazy. To me, this feels like a bookend to the to the series. And they're going to continue. Yeah, it, they're going to keep going. But I, they've I, called it the Infinity Saga. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything that's like, oh, I can't wait for the next one. You know what I mean? For me personally, yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of like comic fans who are going to be like, oh, that's crazy. I can't believe they're doing that. Or whatever. But for well, me, let me ask you. This. Like, let me ask you this. They've been toying with us in every Avengers movie, and I think even in Civil War, will Captain America? Request the Avengers to assemble. Will we get those words oh, to come out of his mouth? Yeah, maybe. Yes, Avengers assemble. Maybe. Uh, didn't he say it at uh, the end of Civil War? No, they cut it off. He said Avengers, is, and then it oh, went to credit. Okay. Yeah, they toyed with us. Maybe. And to me, that's that feels like Wolverine in the yellow costume, where it's like, oh, that would be a cool thing to to do. But that's such a weird line. It is, it is, and, and and that's why they toyed with us. Yeah. I mean, at the end of Civil War, you know, everyone was kind of talking to each other and not really paying attention, and he walks into the room, and he's like, Avengers Assemble. So uh, even though they took off the Assemble portion of it, it's still kind of like, a, hey, rally together. Avengers Assemble. Yeah. You know, but, like, yeah, yeah. If, they're right, if they're, like, right in the middle of fighting Thanos, and he's just like, you know, this is it, man. We're, we're going to fight this, or we're going to die. Avengers Symbol. Let's kick some butter. Just you know, a, a better line than that, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it'll be if they do it. I think it'll be like a joke. Like they're gonna roast so. them for saying it. I don't think it'll be no. like a intense moment. It'll be like when he goes language in yeah, uh, uh, Ultron. Age of Ultron. Yeah, yeah. But but the thing about it though is, is like I think if you could figure out a way, and again, they had, they have to figure it out. They've already filmed it, so if they have. I hope when they have he filmed says it, it they they have a bunch of Legos. <laughs> Chris Pratt's there. <laughs> Why are you here? I don't know. But no, like if he if, if they could figure out a way to put it in there where it's not lame or it's not a joke, yeah. and he could just do it where like you know like the scene that we I think have you seen the other two trailers in full? Uh, so I've seen the where Tony is on the ship. Okay. And that's the only one I've really paid any attention to. I've kind of okay, avoided there's, everything else. I, the, the, yeah, there's a scene in there where it shows Cap, like, strapping on his shield, and his hands are shaking when he's when he's strapping on the shield. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that could be like a moment where he's just like, Avengers, you know, symbol. I know it sounds stupid coming out of my mouth, because I'm not in... stupid out of Chris uh, <laughs> Pratt, or not. What a, uh, 
Evans. Chris Evans. Yeah. Yeah. Dumb, maybe know. though. Maybe D- depends on the scenario. That's why I'm thinking the scenario has to be the the scenario has to be perfect. I'm not saying that it should be a throwaway line, but just like this, it has to be perfect or it will come off as stupid. No. But no. Yeah. But, I, that's but, what I'm saying. but back. I don't think there'll be any moment where it doesn't come off as stupid. I, I would have a hard time. And I feel like the Russos are much closer to like Nolan, where they don't care nearly as much about the comic book stuff um, as they do telling a good story. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like fitting in Easter eggs and like moments, well, they did, they, like nods. They do. They, 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 they put in a lot of stuff. Like especially, I, I thought a lot of the imagery from the comics from Civil War that was in Civil War was pretty cool. Yeah. But uh, they don't beat you over the head with it. In, well, what I was going to say is in Civil War, they directed it, correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's when he said Avengers assemble, but they, they cut, cut off it off. Assemble. So you yeah. think they're going to do it again? I don't think they're going to cut it off, but I think that, that they have to find the right spot. Again, they have to find the right spot. But I'm saying they their, their decision making was like, oh, this line does not work. We should cut it off. I don't see why they would change, go back on that. Do you know what I'm saying? Because they've been teasing it, waiting for the right time to, to put it out there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, again, the, the, so your, your answer is probably no. Yeah, you, we will probably not I'm here. Gonna get I'm going to give it a high probability. I'm going to say I think that we will get Avengers Assemble. Unless, like, but, Nick Fury says something but doesn't say symbol. He's like, Avengers, mm-hmm. gather. And then Captain America's like, <laughs> no, Avengers, assemble. And then it fades to black. Right. So, I mean, and it counts even if, like, um, you know, if they're in the Avengers, whatever, it's studios or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there's, a, yeah, headquarters and a spaceship's studios. coming. And then they, <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, each one of them have their, their headphones on. And then, like, uh, Cap, get, you know, says there's something entering the atmosphere, you know, Avengers assemble outside. I something. Hope he says, yeah. he gets on the Again, phone. That's so stupid. I hope he goes like <laughs> assemble the Avengers just to make you mad. Like, <laughs> I know. I, I'd get up and be like, "Boo, <laughs> the Avengers assemble, you idiot! I'm out of here. Give my money, my money back." Guy in the box says, "Sounds like what they do in The Walking Dead." Uh, I don't know what that's in context to. Sorry, I missed that. Yeah, we got talking and we didn't notice. When did you? What did you mean by that? But okay, so let me ask you this. Yes. Okay, we lay we lay out every character that we know. Yeah. Okay. Who is going to die? Who's going to die? I think Captain's yeah. going to die. I think Tony's going to okay. retire. Okay. Uh, I think I think uh, Banner is going to be done, but I don't think he's going to die, and I don't necessarily think he's going to retire. But I think he's going to kind of walk off into the distance. Like you kind of have a hint that he's going to continue doing what he's doing. <laughs> hey, thanks for the sub, Ken. Uh, at slight changes from the comic district. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I gotcha. Um, Hawkeye's gonna survive. Uh, Natasha's gonna survive. Um, I'm trying to think who else. All the Black Panther people are gonna survive. Um, don't tell me to smile, Kennethan. Did you get your earring <laughs> yet? That's the only thing that'll make me smile. Um, let's see, who else is there? There is Rocket's gonna survive. Uh, Falcon. You think so? Do you think that Gamora will come back to life? Yeah. Uh, well, maybe. I think either she'll come back or Guardians Three is going to get her back. I should, she'll definitely be back. Guardians Three: The Search yeah. for Gamora. Yeah, basically, because I think it'll they'll be able to undo the snap, but with Gamora, I think she's that it won't affect that. And then um, with Loki. Which you had told me the theory about Loki taking over the Hulk or like implanting himself in the Hulk, which I right. think would be super cool. I think that's my favorite theory. Oh, he didn't even answer. Kinthan, did you get your earring yet? No, of course he's not going to answer because no. the answer is no. Oh, did I tell you his name? He's no longer Kinthan. What? His name is Bert. Bert? Bert, yeah. It's, uh, like Bert? It's short for Albert, as in like Prince oh. Albert. As in the piercing he has to get oh. since he didn't get his earring yet. <laughs> oh no! That's now because he he said he was going to do it. There's his exact words were, 
there's no reason why I can't get it done this weekend. I said, all right, if you don't do it this weekend, we're stepping this bed up. And he said, oh, well, I mean, of course, I agree how, with that. That sounds like a reasonable... You I, I guess I just have to do it. I'll have to fly out to America and do it for him. <laughs> just, to, just to Prince Albert him? That's weird. <laughs> Did you know there was a wrestler from the 90s that was called yes. Prince Albert? <laughs> oh, see, Bert. Oh, look. <laughs> Bye, Bert. Yeah. I hope you believe in God someday. <laughs> yeah, wasn't his other name like Taz or something like that? Is that the same guy? Uh, no, Taz is somebody different. Uh, but, um, but no, I kind of agree with you as far as the people that are going to live uh, and die. I think that... Um, I think overall... The, in, mm-hmm. the movie's going to end happy. It's going to as many people to survive can. A few people will retire, and there will probably only be one death. And I think it'll be Captain. Right. Um, so then, let me ask you this: So, like, how how does so does he Tony Stark? Does he go up to Captain Marvel and say, "Hey, hey, uh, Brosif, because you can beat everybody up in the universe." Uh, I need to retire because my wife or fiance or girlfriend, whatever she is, is pregnant with a baby. I, I just learned that, you know, I just learned a lot. I thought I was going to die. I need to retire. I need to be dad. Yeah. I so think, you, you take over Avengers and I'll fund it. Uh, I think Nick Fury does that. I think Tony walks away, doesn't, doesn't talk to Captain Marvel. And Nick Fury is like, hey, like, I know you've been busy, but, uh, if you were around, this wouldn't have happened. So if you want to hang out for a bit, we could really use your help. Something like that. Mm. But yeah, I think Nick Fury okay. is going to be the one who assembles the next Avengers. And but you think that Tony Stark is going to have that conversation with somebody? With no. Nick, with Nick Fury, because he's the one in Iron Man One at the end. The credit, the end credit scene yeah. is him and Nick Fury. And so I think that right. will be. If it's not Captain, it'll be Nick. If Nick is still alive. Yeah, he'll come back. Think so? Yeah, everyone will. Because, uh, everyone talks about how, uh, every, you know, like Chris Evans and everyone else's contracts is out, but no one's talking about Samuel Jackson and his contracts. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard anything about that either. Yeah. But he's definitely gonna so, get unsnapped. Everyone, everyone who's been snapped will be unsnapped. Thanks. Are you sure about that? I'm positive. What if they don't? I would be happy, honestly, if they don't. If they do... Like, people are jumping through these logical loopholes to try to enjoy the movie. They're like, oh, maybe Spoiler Man is really, you know, an alternate version of Spider-Man. And maybe uh, they're going to replace Black Panther with Shuri. And, you know, all the people who died are going to get replaced here or there. It's like, they're not going to do that. There's no way. (laughs) But if they did, I'd be like, "Eh, okay... At least Infinity War means something now. At least, right. you know, it, what we can trust when you kill someone, they're dead. Because they did it with Nick Fury multiple times. Where they killed him, brought him back. Agent Coulson killed him, brought him back. Um, Loki killed him, brought him back. And so it's just like, oh, none of this matters. None of it means anything. And uh, if they do it for half the universe... It really doesn't matter. So, how do you think that they undo the snap? Yeah, uh, I assume... Okay, so, everything that's happening is Doctor Strange's plan. Right, he looks into the future, sees four million, however many possible. He's like, there's only one that works. And he does everything he can to set that up. And he's like, now we're in the end game, that whole speech, you know. And so everything that's happening was with the intention of this is the way to beat Thanos. And I think they're going to time travel. They're going to warn their past selves. They're going to, you know, I I don't think it's going to get to the point where Thanos is about to snap. He's going to have to get everything back again. Otherwise, Infinity War really won't mean anything. You know, like we were saying, if he kills, they kill baby Thanos, it really doesn't matter. Um, but I think it'll get to the point where Thor is about to kill him again. 
and they're going to figure out a way to stop them because of all the new information they got from time traveling and all that stuff. Yeah, but but I guess, so what, you think that Thor will go for the head instead of... No, I, I don't think it'll be that. I don't, I don't think... I don't think Thor is going to be the one to take him out. It's but, it's, it's either going to be Nebula because of the catharticism, cathartic, like just feeling like, oh, she got hers, you know? Right. So the Avengers will break him down and Nebula will be the assassin that kind of comes in, sneaks in, kills him. Or it'll be something where Tony or Captain kill him, which I don't think Captain will, so it'll probably be Tony. But also, there's like too much... Uh, between Tony and Thanos for Tony to actually kill him thematically where you know Thanos could have killed Tony but kept him alive and like respected each other and stuff like that and then like I was saying earlier Captain's uh, character I think he's going to get in the way um, and he's also I think too big of a character just to kill off I think they might want to use him again right well I mean Thanos was going to kill Tony yeah, and so yeah, Doctor Strange, and he said, "I hope people remember you." After all, well, the, the the thing about it though is, is Tony was the only character that Thanos tried to kill. All the rest of the people, he just kind of knocked out of the way. I mean, Loki, he broke. You know, he he killed Loki, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like Thanos went out of his way to not kill anybody because he wanted the snap to determine who lived and who died. Yeah. So, but Tony was the only one he tried to kill. But it, it wasn't, I don't think it was because he was like actively, actively trying to kill him. It was that Tony gave him the most threat, was the biggest threat. And it was the only way to stop him because Tony was so tenacious that everything he threw, I mean, he threw a planet at him and he kept coming. Right. And so he was like, <laughs> you know, the only, the only way to stop this guy is to kill him. I've, you know, right. I've, I've done everything I've done to everyone else, right? I beat him up. I've used the infinity stones on him and he just keeps coming, keeps coming. So. I don't have another choice but to kill him. I don't think it was like a vendetta thing. It was like, okay, if you won't stop, then I'll stop. Type of thing. I don't know, because he knew who he was. I still, I think there's something to that too. I yeah. think that there's something to the fact that Thanos knew who Tony was. Yeah. Something about when Tony went into space in Avengers 1. Um, cause he said something like, you're not the only one plagued with knowledge. Right. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm I'm looking forward to it, but um. So did you figure out what when it actually comes out? I don't know when it comes out here. It's really hard to figure that stuff out for specifically my town. Like I can go and ask them in person, and they won't be able to tell me what's playing tomorrow. Oh, okay. So I thought you could hop online and figure it out. Mm-mm. The it, it only does up to a day for some reason. Did it? Did Infinity War come out two weeks before? Infinity War did. Yes. Oh. So, but two weeks before, I guess that's next week. So we'll see. I I, I have a feeling it won't, but uh, I don't know. I hope it does, so I can spoil it for everybody. Right.